Hello everyone, welcome to Practical Research 1. So I will be your teacher, Ms. April Joy Lariosa, and I hope that this semester will turn out great for us all. I will help you in this subject because at the end of this semester, you will be able to create a one, two, three research study. So at the end of this, maghimu kajuta of research study, whether you like it or not. Okay? So at the end of this semester, I hope nga magtinabangay tang tanan, especially mga groupmates, to create a uh, a research study or a research proposal. So, karon kay PR1 pamanta, ang himuon paninjo is a proposal. So, research proposal. Okay, so I will help you through this. Right? So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about research first. So, day nine research. So, research comes from the Middle French word research, which means the act of searching closely. So, it is a combination of the prefix re, which means again, and the word search means to look for. So, therefore, research is to look for again. So, mangita di ay taog balik. Right, so to look for again. So, mo din itong buhaton, mangita tag problema mangita tag problema o mangita tag laing solusyon sa problema to look for again right so research also is a systematic application of the scientific inquiry in order to find solutions to problems and contribute to knowledge so we have to find solution to certain problems and at the same time we can contribute knowledge to everyone so, it is also a formal and disciplined application of scientific inquiry to the study of problems. So, study han, dunin nato ang problema. O, mangita, medyo tag problema. So, kung maglikilikita ang problema, karon pangitaon na to ang problema. Right, so, what are characteristics of good research? Or characteristics of a good research? On saman. First one is research is empirical. So, it uses facts and data that are obtained through and through investigation. Which means, tino o jud ni sadya. Dili kay her seira or nadunggan na ni mo sa silingan. But, it obtained at through and through investigation. So, giinvestagahan ka dyan ni Sidya o kung sa gadyo'y tinuwa. That's why it is empirical. Second one is analytical. The researcher carefully analyzes and interprets the gathered data before arriving at the conclusion. So, therefore, gianalyze ka dyan ni Sidya o tarong para ma-interpret or para ang ang ma-interpret ang imong nag-gather ng data before arriving at the conclusion. So, kinahanglan sakto or makakuha d'yo kagtarong na analyzation sa imuhang research. Next one is systematic. It follows a certain method in order to obtain objective result. So, from step 1, step 5, maone ang bukaton. Dili pwede mag-una to step 5 or mag-una to step 3 kay sa junior man step 3, kami sila man to unhon, or chapter 3, kay sa junior chapter 3, RRR, kami sa to unhon. No, it must follow a certain method. Oh, in order for you to obtain your objective result. Then we have cyclical. It begins with the problem and ends with the solution or resolution, or tentative answers to the problem to complete the cycle. Dili kay, you begin with a problem, and then you end it with another problem. Dili, dapat, mahuman sa siya, nga, naakay solution, 
or resolution or tentative answers kung wa pagad yung resolution then tentative answers okay to the problems then we have original it is expected that any research output is a product of novel ideas and shows originality it doesn't mean nga pareha mong topic ma'am na na mong ni siya nga topic oh lagi di na na original it is still original if the ideas nga naa sa research sa kana nga research is slowly yours imojud na or injujud na sa group dili kay ni copy paste ka kay pareha mo mong topic copy paste na naman ka niya so that is not original so dapat original ang atong research so man ato ng mga pareha o topic ma'am na pwede na mo makuhaan yes we can do that but kinahanglan na atay citation. Dapat isulti na ito. Dili kay ang kono na ito. So, sixth one is research should be feasible. It should be possible. The problem should be present in the real settings. Dili kay, let's say for example, ma'am, sa may problema, ma'am, mag-experiment lagi mi ma'am. O sige yun, sa man, experiment in yung buhatan. Time travel. Is it possible? Maybe, but is it possible for you to make during that time, during this time, whatever it is, lisod kajo. So, look for problem that is present in real setting. Unsa unsa man? Ma'am, among himuan ang rain experiment ni ma'am, among himuan ang rain water nga mineral water nga mainom si Jam Mom ang rain water to mineral water mo na yung eksperimentuhan ma'am oh then go that is a real setting that is present in the real setting so pwede lang si Jam that is very possible so dapat your research should be visible so these are the goals of research one description it refers to the way in which the phenomena being studied is defined, classified, and categorized. Number two, prediction. Stating the possible consequences of present events based on existing knowledge. So, dapat, um, mahibawaan na nato ang possible consequences sa atong research based sa atong existing knowledge. And understanding is to find out the causes behind the phenomena. O di lang ta pwede nga maging mong problema kung wat na kahibaw or kahibaw na ta rather nga naman or unsa may causes behind ani. So dapat maging mong tag-research para sa genre maging mong tag-research nga wak pa ta kahibaw unsa yung cause ani. O diba? So sa genre naman na unsa man wak pa ta kahibaw. Let's say for example, we don't know uh, anything about the teenage pregnancy nga naman nga naamay daga mga bata nga naka-experience of teenage pregnancy matakay ba ang sikos ana so muna itong pangitaon ha? so di nito pwede na yung mangita ta nga kaibaw na tadaan because the understanding level will be kanang at a very tungara naara di ha tap haura ang atong understanding sa atong research. So, your goal of research is first description. You may be able to define, classify, and categorize. Prediction. You may state the possible consequences of your problem. And understanding. Oh, you may find out the causes behind the phenomena. Then we have the roles of researcher. And sa manayin yung mga role. Number one, you are the principal investigator. Ikaw mismo ang mo-investigate. Dili pwede nang manugo ka, nga palihog ko ka ng pangutana dito. O okay ra ba ni? O mahimo ba ni rain into ka ng mineral water? Pwede ba? O di, pwede dapat ikaw mismo ang mo-investigate. You are also the member of a research team. Ito mo na yung mga yung role as a researcher. You are also a member of a research team. Which means, dili ijahay. Group ni si Jia. Remember that research is a group work. So, kung wa ang usa, 
sa di mo matulin ti book grupo kamong tanan why grado mong tanan dili makakam so this is a group research so dapat group work you are an identifier of researchable problem so of course identify good ka og mga problema sa may mga problema na tos kalibutan nga wa pa jud dinay baw e or wa pa solusyon oh for example the 15 billion scam sa PhilHealth ah pa tay solusyon ah so imo tong ko anon how did i okay joke lang so you are the identifier or other researchable problem so sa may problema na ay ato oh kun na mista ka and you are a research economist then you can do that Hmm. Pwede na ni mo mabukat. Then, user of research findings. So, unsay imong nakitaan or unsay imong nahibawaan nga findings, dapat ikaw po mismo mo gamit ana. Oh, you are the user of your finding. Dili kay, oh, maone ang mahitabo ma'am kung atong imunon ang uwan. Oh, magburot-burot ka ma'am. Kaya nga nung mana, kaya ba mong ka nagburot-burot ka, kaya nang ino mong kumam, kaya mong may hong nakukan. So, you are the user of your research. Then, you are a patient or client advocate during the study. Oh, you are a pay, you are a pasyente, at the same time, you are the client, or the client advocate during the study. And you are the subject, respondent, and participant. You are the subject at the same time. You are the respondent at the same time. You are the participant. So these are the rules of the researcher. So why is research very very important? Yan naman kaha ng importante man ang research. First and foremost, important is it ja because you gather relevant information. Knowledge is established. Perceptions are corrected. So nakahatag ng knowledge. At the same time, katong mga wrong, imong na-correct. So, you gather relevant information. Second one, it improves quality of life. Problems are solved. Present solutions are tested for effectivity. For example, the vaccine of coronavirus. Nakahimo ang, anaw na to, ang Pfizer. Because of that, na nasubad ang problema sa COVID-19 and because of that ma-improve na unta ma-improve na ang quality of life so in ana ka-importante ang research kiyon sa man to nila paghimo sa vaccine research kiyon sa man nila pag-research ma'am nagtuon nangita research hindi ba nangita sila sa mga lain na po nga virus ilang gitest hindi ka man wag yapon hindi ba yan na And in, and it improve. Hopefully, it will improve our quality of life. Kada kana tayong mga vaccines. Then understand history. So phenomena are validated. Let's say for example, unsa na hitabo during this time during the World War Two. So may hitabo ani mam. Oh, because of research. Tungod kayo naman tayong mga historians or historical researchers. So ilang iko anjo yun sa manila pagkaiba ng mga ojenay may tabo. Of course, they do some research. So, katong mga nahitabo sa una, it was validated because of research. And therefore, nakasabot ka sa imong history. And, we have the personal and professional development. So, personally, ma-develop ka. Professionally, of course, ma-develop ka. The more research that you have, the more money that you will receive maugid na. Mga nga, importante good ang research. So, research helps you become a good decision maker, a good problem solver, a good critical and creative thinker, and a good contributor of knowledge. So, if at the end of the semester, ang research makapatabang ni mo nga maka, nga ikaw, mahimo, nga good decision maker, good problem solver, good critical and creative thinker, and you are a contributor of knowledge. So, the scientific method in research is the process of conducting research scientifically. 
scientifically, so it means it involves a systematic collection and investigation of data through the scientific method. So, ng anong scientific method mo mong kikinahanglan managinig systematic a uh, method. Step one, sa ibuhaton. Step two, mao ni buhaton. Step three, mao ni buhaton. So that that is why it is scientific method. So scientific scientific method is characterized by the following elements. We have the empirical approach. Knowledge is gained through direct observation and experimentation. So direct, which means ikaw mismo ang experiment or ikaw mismo ang observe. Then we have the observation. Your awareness of your environment constitutes your ideas. For example, nag naglantaw ra ka sa dagat. Oh, naglantaw ka sa dagat, nag-observe ra ka, kita kag bata na masul. Hmm. Tsaka naglisod man ang bata pagpapasul, pagpamasul. Therefore, nakakab up ka og idea nga masajun, na mudugok ang mga isda para mamasul. O oh, ba? Your awareness of your environment constitutes your ideas to come up with something. Then inquiry, a question that yields knowledgeable information must have an obtainable answer based on the current scientific procedures available. So daghan tag mga questions nga because of scientific procedures natubag siya. Then we have the hypothesis, an educated guess. So, an attempt to explain a phenomena. So, you're trying to explain a certain phenomena. Nga nung nahitabo na sa Diyah. For example, nga nung mutuktugaok ang manok o buntag sa Diyah. Oh, kana. Oh, what do you think? Why nga naman yung mutuktugaok man ang manok o buntag sa Diyah? Paano? Hindi man ugtungas gabi eh or alas 7 sa gabi eh, or alas 8 sa gabi eh. Ngayon, di man siya mutuktuga o alas 8 na po sa muntag. Ngayon, mutuktuga o siya between 3 to 5. Or, namagali mutuktuga o alas 12, pero kamay ra, or ala na, pero not mostly. But mostly between 3 to 5, or 3 to 6. Ngayon ka ha? Ngayon na ba? So, you try to guess, an educated guess. Mo na yung hypothesis. So, hypothesis should assure the stability in a crafted condition for the accuracy and reliability of result. Thus, becoming it an experiment. So, katong yung hypothesis, yung possible nga guess nga mo explain sa, to a certain phenomena, yung mo nang experiment. Maybe because na naanad ang kanang manok because of time, ano na to? Because of time, mo ni sa dyang ang aming. So, experiment. Then, analysis. The data gathered are subjected to analysis using statistical tools. So, using statistical tools, ang imong mag-gather ng data, maimo na sa dyang ma-analyzed. Okay. Then, we have the conclusion. The process of making inferences. So, a conclusion must be objective and supported by the meticulous analysis of data. So, sa katong result sa imong data, using the statistical tools, di rin mo mabuhat sa conclusion. Kung sa may imong makitaan. Okay? Then, replication. Doing the same study once again to a different set of participants to test the soundness of the obtained results. So, kanin siya dugay, dyan siya nga process and replication. Kaya nga no, you have here a set of participants. Mga niya mag-studyan sila group A. Pag-abot sa result, wa ka na kontento. So, you try to go to group B para to test if ang ijang result maura ba or malahi ba siya. Depende sa participant or sa klase ng participant. Okay? So, conducting the study for several times will pave way to additional and essential purposes. First one, establishment of reliability of findings. So, reliable juga ang jay mong findings. Tu tungod kay daghan mang kang gipang test ng participant. Or, makadiscover ka of new knowledge. 
and assortment of general general generalizability of result. So naakay generalization sa imong result nga lain-lain ang participants. Right. So this is the research process. Steps in research process. First one is you have to define your topic. Unsa may topic nimo? Mo na pinaka-importante. Unsa may ahong problema? Write your problem statement. Then therefore, kung magkakaw na kag topic, ah, ang topic mam one, lunar eclipse. Kapila, mugawas ang lunar eclipse sa usa ka tuig. Ang kana, or nga naman, natagdugay man si John, mugawas. Or something like that. Then you have to write your problem statement. So, maghimo na ka ang statement. Imo na na siyang himo on nga statement. Ang kana yung mga problema. Then make an outline. Develop a research strategy. Evaluate your sources. Write and revise your paper. And document your sources. So, many steps in the research process. Define your topic. Write your problem statement. Make an outline. Develop a research strategy. Evaluate your sources. Write and revise your paper. And document your sources. So, I have here... Kana sa dyan. Para klaro sa dyan ka adyong steps. A more detailed research process. So, you have to choose and define a topic. You have to write the problem statement. You write down all the gathered relevant information in the topic line. Then you have to develop a research strategy to save time and effort in conducting research. So, may strategy na ito para dali na itong moments itong research. Then we have to evaluate and check the credibility of the sources. You have to know nga ang hindi ko kaan, tinuod ka dyan na si Jara, reliable, existing, Dili Wikipedia. Then, write, revise, and check the contents of the paper. So, we have to write and revise. Write and revise. Then, cite. This is very important. You have to cite the documents or sources properly to establish credibility of your research. No sources means you are not credible as a researcher. So, dapat na adyunali mo mga sources. So, mali yung gingon ni mga pisan pag dili na imong idea. Basta kay nagkuha ka or ning site ka sa source, then that is acceptable. Okay? So, that will be all for lesson 1. Lesson 2 will be given next week sa ethics of research. Okay? So, I will be giving you questions na makita na ito sa itong page and you can answer it dito na lang po. Okay? So, thank you so much for listening and goodbye!